creative homeschooling in today's class we will go through two more challenges for rook let us now move on to our 11th rook challenge let's consider three chess pieces for this challenge a black king a black pawn and of course a white rook place the black pawn in box d4 next place the white rook in box a1 and place the black king in box b1 now if you are ready let's start the game now i have one question can we move the rook from a1 to d4 to capture the pawn no as you know already from our previous class the rook can move only in a straight path in any direction so in this case we can move the white rook from a1 to d1 correct to capture the black king so in this case we can move the white rook from a1 to d1 to capture the black king correct next we can capture the pawn in the very next step as it is on the stride path so let us move the rook from d1 to d4 in order to capture the pawn correct now that i have captured the pawn and there are no additional chess pieces on the board so this challenge is finished let's get started with our jewel challenge let's consider three chess pieces for this challenge a black queen a black bishop and a white rook place the black queen in box a2 next place the black bishop in box c2 and place the white rook in box a4 now we are ready let's start the game as you know already from our previous class the rook can move in a straight path in any direction now in this case we can capture the queen in the very next step as it is on the straight path so let's move the rook from a4 to a2 to capture the queen correct now again let's move the rook from a2 to c2 to capture the bishop correct now that i have captured the bishop and there are no other chess pieces on the board so this challenge is finished this is all about the moves of the rook in the following class we will discuss about the moves of the knight thanks for watching if you like the video please do like and subscribe see you in the next video